How's it going guys? We've got some exciting things to check out today, but before we get to those, we're going to check a few of the basic stuff that's been kind of going on over through the past couple weeks that wasn't enough to merit its own video really. So there were some changes with uh, code locks, which we will, or key locks I, sh I should say, uh, not code locks, key locks as well as the uh, pose to sitting on the couch or chair and so forth with an item in your hand. And you can go ahead and, you know, view the animation and that can be seen. And uh, yeah, so now when you deploy a lock, it automatically locks. So that is actually something that is quite a bit of a game changer. Uh, it could help noobs out and it could also make uh, things change pretty quickly in a raid. So. You know, hey, that's uh, definitely something that's very different. Also, visually, you can see it actually kind of like clips more into it appropriately. It looks like the lock is installed rather than kind of like floating there. So that's just kind of a nice little visual thing. Now, shotgun traps uh, apparently have more strict placement. I'm assuming this means with terrain. I feel like I should have used to be able to like clip it more in the terrain there, but not so much. I mean, it still does a little bit. Uh, I built walls and other stuff and you know half walls and so forth. There didn't seem to be any too bad restrictions uh, I didn't notice anything when you know trying to you know squeeze it in next to other deployables Because that seemed to be just fine, you know about the same size as it So yeah, I think that's probably more maybe like in caves and glitching it into terrain and stuff They're they're trying to fix that kind of stuff I know they're working on fixing a lot of the view models as well uh, as they're also importing the new HD assets and so forth and uh, yeah, that, that's kind of like the basic little things that you can see, you know, just kind of that have changed here and there. Now, there is actually a new button in the game, and it's actually the suicide button. So uh, the whole, you know, F1 thing might be a little scary for some people. They don't want to mess with a console or something, don't even know what it is. And uh, having a suicide button would just be a little easier if you get stuck, trapped, glitched, or something like that. So now that's something that's been added to the main menu. That's a little addition there. While we're here in the main menu, we're going to jump into the workshop and you can actually go to create a new item. And if you haven't noticed already, there is a new item that can be skinned. And that is actually the jackhammer. That is correct. The jackhammer can now be skinned, guys. So if you haven't already, which a ton of people have, you can go and jump in there, download those files off staging and uh, get going on an item as you can see a lot of people already have which we'll be jumping into those next week as we go through the new skins there in addition to all these other changes the bradley seemed to be a little op lately with a little too good loot going on there especially in the high tier weapon zone a lot of m249s and l96s were kind of popping up and around the Bradley has been adjusted to have this happen less. I went ahead and spawned in a couple of crates, so let's go ahead and take a look at how much. All right, so we got 10 crates here. Oh, bit of lag going on there for a second. So missiles and parts and door. Okay, yeah, no, no M249 or anything yet. Oh, okay, there's our first M249. Ooh, that one's kind of painful. <laughs> it might still be getting some adjustment. Uh, also, they're working on making it to where these crates uh, don't have, you know, the extra spaces that aren't there for anything, really. Uh, another M249. No L9. Oh, MP5. 2C4. Yeah, so it's definitely toned down a bit. Uh, I think that's a little more appropriate. The Bradley is not too difficult to kill. I know a lot of people are, you know, everyone has their own opinion on it. So go ahead, sound it off down in the comment section. How you feel about that so yeah that's basically how that one is going there before we pop off into the new stuff we do have a few other exciting things that are in the works like the work cart and the whole underground train systems uh, so far all we have is this being teased and a lot of commits being done so this probably means it is something they're pushing really hard to get in I would be really surprised this next update, it's probably going to be more like March kind of thing. But it's something they seem to be putting a lot of work into, and uh, it could be something we could tr test out soon. So that would be really, really cool. Uh, in addition to that, we also have 
some kind of mysterious branch going on. It's actually a card games branch. And then there's been some other commits that pop up uh, saying that there's been game modes and so forth. Now, we've seen a slot machine before, and uh, this is kind of old, and it kind of just disappeared. It's been a while, didn't really happen, pretty much. And uh, so it looks like we might be getting a couple of card games, obviously. And since it says game modes... You know, I'm just making an assumption here, maybe multiple card games, and uh, maybe the slot machine will make an appearance. I don't know, maybe it's just card games. We'll just have to see. One way or another, it's card game related. So that is something that seems pretty cool and exciting. And before we get to the really new vehicle, there is a new potential vehicle piece. There is the camper module. Now, there's been other commits for things like vans and sedans and stuff, but if you notice, it says HDRP or it says like something about the environment. Those, I think, are new models for the world, but this one says module on it, just like all the other car parts have. So it looks like we're getting some kind of camper that we can put on the cars. Uh, is this going to be like a spawn point? Can you live out of it? Could you place things in it? I don't know. We're just going to have to see how that works. Speaking of placeable, the watchtowers now have the ability of placeable items. Now, of course, within reason, you can see I got like a barbecue up here. I did fit a bed. You can put a sleeping bag. I can even kind of cram that in there. Uh, I'm not so sure how easily you're going to get in and out afterwards. But you get the idea. You can definitely make some good use out of these now. And I think that makes them a tiny bit more practical. We've got a sneak peek of a new item that will be coming for the Chinese New Year slash Valentine's uh, time <laughs> for skins. And this is the Year of the Ox. So this, of course, is the Ox helmet. And this thing is so cool. I, I look, it even has physics to like the, the little like tussle things at the end. Tassels, tassels. I don't know what they are. <laughs> I'm sure one of you guys will criticize me for it. But yeah, this thing is just absolutely amazing. Uh, the last couple times, I think the masks were like around 10 bucks. So, yeah, you know, maybe prepare for something like that for the price. We'll just have to see. And then, of course, everyone's going to want to know what are the stats. And the stats are pretty much the same as the other two masks. So, same thing. Wolf had dress with bandana kind of bit situation. All right. So, let's get to the first of two very exciting things I wanted to show you. And the first thing here is the submarine. Now, this is still... Let's say uh, not in stone, guys. This is still just the model, and it's the you know bare bones model here. It's just the gray box and so forth. But this is a two-person operated, or at least two-seater uh, submarine. That's the only information I really have of it. Uh, it's still not set in stone. It's something that could come, or maybe it won't. We'll just have to see. But with how far it's done, I'm really, really banking on the fact that devs can pull off a submarine. So. Uh, I think it's going to happen, but hey, that's my personal opinion. You can't take that set in stone, subject to change, etc., etc. So, one way or another, submarine, guys, uh, how do you feel about that? Now, I know the roadmap does have a few other water-related things, like uh, scientist patrol boats, as well as uh, sea creatures of some sort. I think, like, whales or sharks were mentioned, but I think that was more in the comments section rather than face punch officially themselves. It just said marine life and scientist patrols, so, hey. One way or another, there's going to be something going on at the ocean eventually. But the other thing we're here to check out is the drones. So let's go ahead and jump straight into that. All right, so drones are now on staging branch as of you watching this video. And uh, you will find uh, there will be safe zones that have this thing right here, which is the drone marketplace. If you are a server admin... You can spawn it yourself by doing spawn space marketplace. Uh, now, I don't know exactly where these are because I refreshed my map a couple times and they weren't spawning. So they may need to only be spawned in right now. So I'm not sure. Uh, one way or another, you're going to be seeing this guy right here. It has a solar panel, sat dish, and some batteries hanging around, a sensor, RF. Like It's got all sorts of... Of stuff going on and then we've got the various different like containers turned into workstations uh, for the various markets so three markets can be used here at once we'll show you what that means here in a second 
Now, the first thing people are going to ask, well, can we craft drones? Now, as of right now, Alistair said there's no plan to. However, if you look, it does say a remote controlled drone here. And uh, <laughs> it, 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 it looks like um, the <laughs> water ring there. So, uh, yeah, I, it's definitely not an inner tube. And uh, as of right now, you know, he said subject for everything to change here, guys. This is very early on, and this is planned to make it in on the fourth uh, uh, update here coming up. So on the fourth. And uh, yeah, as of right now, not planned for player use other than what you'll see here. So we will not be able to craft them. But who knows in the future, maybe we'll be able to control them with uh, RC. So basically, the way this is going to work is you're going to find this station and you can go up to it. And then it's going to say, well, pick a vending machine. So I've got these vending machines I put behind me. And then we're also very, very close to Outpost. So what I'm going to do is actually send them over to Outpost to bring me back an elevator. You hear them taking off. We'll show them in a second. And a telephone. So there they go. Nope. There it goes. There he's going to grab it for me. All right. And while he is off. We'll make another order to behind me and you'll see of course there is a delivery fee it always shows down here in the bottom and uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab that 10 c4 I think so you'll see here it comes there it goes went to the store it bought from the store oh here they come back to me So now you can open up the drop box and here's my elevator and phone from outpost and my 10 c4 from behind me so yeah we can just go ahead and kind of do that one more time i'm going to send them all a little longer adventure to bandit town so we can actually have it take a little bit uh yeah we're gonna grab ourselves a windmill so see ya buddy off you go thank you <laughs> And uh, then we are going to send another drone out here to get this M249 and those. And I figured while they're here we can get like a real nice glimpse of these guys. Look at that Cobalt drone. How cool is that? Oh, I think that screenshot froze us there for a second. There they go. And th th this whoa, whoa, wrong button. Hello. <laughs> and uh, oh. give me my stuff. Hey, <laughs> what's it doing? Did I wait? Did I pick the wrong one somehow? Uh oh. Was I not? here when it got delivered is that <laughs> oops well that's a bit of a bummer well let's send a few more off to do some duties here we'll get a refinery and that and that and that boom away he goes and it's cool that it can be like one drone to send it off so now we we've kind of got that one question here of course that's going to come across and it's going to be can they be shot down so we're going to wait for these guys to come back Here they come. Oh, helps if we had a full clip in the gun. Oh no, ah, oh, perfect opportunity. And as of right now, you can see bullets go straight through them. Now, later on, will it be intended to be able to shoot them down? I don't know, we'll just have to see. Uh, you know how that goes, but 
that's that that's uh how you have it there we go i was like where do my stuff go i'm at the wrong thing again so there we go we got our deliveries so that's gonna be drones guys uh are you excited about it i i think this is gonna be something that'll be very different and uh it's a step towards something cool to uh do in the game and with this i can see the possibility of rc vehicles uh surveillance with cctv on them eventually if we can craft and use them uh, just this delivery system thing alone is going to be something that I see a lot of people really having fun with. Oh wow, my one got back from like bandit cam. Give me my stuff. Hey. What? Oh, I ordered it from here. That's right. <laughs> there we go. Windmill M249. And there's everything else. So yeah, there we go. It went to the wrong computer. I kept getting them confused. That's why it was going on earlier. So yeah, there it is, guys. Sound off in the comments below. Submarines and trains and drones and card games and who knows what else. Missions are still being worked on. There's so much more uh, just here to pop into the game. I know I'm excited. This video has probably gone on way too long. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.